It has been said, build a better mousetrap, and the world will beat a path to your door. Teach a mouse to fish, and you will have mice coming out of the woodwork on their way to go fishing, which is just what we have here at NYUK. So I have decided uh, to take matters into my own hands. <laughs> Excuse me. I am uh, Professor uh, Nielsen. Welcome back to NYUK. <gasps> now, our next Three Stooges film is uh, Termites of 1938. And once again, the Stooges are after the American dream, and this time as flea jockeys with the Acme Extermination Company. Rest assured, no mice or termites were harmed during the filming of this picture. So, let us watch the Stooges do what they do best, exterminate us, with uh, a megaton of laughter. Now, where's that little bugger? Grade B, grade C, grade B, grade D. Ah, grade A. <laughs> well, keep up the good work. There's more Three Stooges coming up on AMC's NYUK. While he may be our head football coach here at NYUK, he doubles as a dabbler in history. And with a record 17 consecutive winless seasons, we're sure that he'll bring the same consistent level of skill to the Stooge classroom. Coach Hamstrung. Men and women, I'd like to talk to you today about showing emotion. I tell my players that it's okay to cry over a loss. But after 181 in a row, they've taken to laughing. We all need to express ourselves more. And no one does that better than Curly in the 1936 Old West short, Whoops, I'm an Indian. <laughs> now, granted, Curly's form of expression isn't for everyone. Personally, uh, I don't wear women's clothes. But this would be the fifth film of their first 18 where Curly would end up in drag. The sixth, if you count that kilt he wore in Pardon My Scotch. <laughs> Whatever it takes, I said. Right? <laughs> For me, Coach Hamstrung, I got in touch with my feelings through macrame. Now, ain't this football cozy the greatest? Huh? Look at it. You two can learn to express yourselves while we watch. Whoops. I'm an Indian. Good morning, Stooge Tears. Are we feeling a little bit dizzy today? Allow me. Ah, you feel better? Good. NYUK will send you a bill later. Now, uh, coincidentally, we're watching Dizzy Doctors today, produced in 1937. This short is the first of what I like to call the Three Stooges Dizzy Trilogy. Dizzy Doctors, Dizzy Detectives, and Dizzy Pilots. Needless to say, our boys find themselves dizzy from running from the long arm of the law straight into the Los Arms Hospital, which our more attentive students will remember from Men in Black, the Stooges Oscar-nominated short. Now, how many of you knew that? Let me see some hands. <laughs> now, how come it's always the same two hands? <laughs> Okay, class, let's review what we've watched. Now, we'll have a little test, and remember, keep your eyes on your own paper. You'll have a few minutes as AMC's uh, NYUK continued with more stooging. Class, for our next film, I've asked the world's foremost stooge expert to join us. Unfortunately, that man jumped bail this morning. Our football coach, however, has graciously volunteered to take his place. Please welcome eight-time Mensa applicant, a man whose cup runneth under, Coach Hamstrung. Thank you, Professor Nielsen. Now, heads up. The next short is set in the Old West. Let me break it down for you nice and simple, ladies. The Stooges are trying to catch some mean old cattle rustlers. It's us against them. Yippee-ki-yay style. Huh? <laughs> now, we can't win it on talent alone. We got to get them with our minds. Outthink them, outsmart them, and out... Outthink them. Hmm? 
like Curly here, and goofs and saddles when he makes his few bullets go a long way by shooting them through a grinder. Now, that's my definition of an MVP, a guy who knows how to use this. This here short was directed by Del Lord, who got his start in the pictures as a stunt driver. Now, this was the 11th Stooge movie he directed. Then he made 28 more, bringing his tally to, uh, to uh, well, I, I ain't got my calculator here right now, but uh, I'll, I'll tell you what. By the time you finish watching Goose and Saddles, I'll have that answer for you, huh? 28 and 11. Well, I hope you paid attention to that last uh, stewed short. There will be a test on that later, and we'll now break for a short recess and resume with more Three Stooges of the AMC's NY UK. While he may be our head football coach here at NYUK, he doubles as a dabbler in history. And with a record 17 consecutive winless seasons, we're sure that he'll bring the same consistent level of skill to the Stooge classroom. Coach Hamstrung. Thanks. Political correctness, ladies, makes me sick to my stomach. And you won't find any of it in the next Stooges short, Rocking Through the Rockies. Roughneck bodyguards, tribes of Indians, uh, Native Americans, and a man's man named Curly wrestling a bear. Now, if you're one of them uh, movie trivia buffs, look for Daisy, the chorus girl played by Linda Winters. Now, Miss Winters later showed up in Citizen Kane after she changed her name to Dorothy Cummingore. I guess people kept confusing her with Shelley Winters who won my respect for a synchronized breaststroke in the Poseidon adventure, huh? No wonder that boat tipped over, huh? Now, rocking through the Rockies ain't no chick flick. This is real life, you panty waste. I remember once back in the big one, Granada, deep in the bush, me and a wild one back going mano with mano and... Hey! If it's touchy-feely you want, go buy your old lady a Mother's Day card. Now, my kind of movie is summed up in this stooge verse. I smashed him. I hit him. I bopped him. I tore him to pieces and I knocked him down. Now that's poetry. <laughs> You coffee house poses. Take a look at Rocking Through the Rockies. You're watching NYUK's Disorientation Day. There's more studiology to come today and every Saturday and Sunday on AMC's NYUK. Safety. That's the name of the game. Whether you're mixing chemicals or making slapstick comedy. Unfortunately, even with careful planning of stunts and some naturally hard heads of our stooges, they still got hurt in the name of comedy. Uh, for instance, in the 1935 short, Pardon My Scotch, Mo falls through a table, very much like this one. And he suffered a few broken ribs and a concussion from the fall. And in the uh, three dumb clucks, a misplaced two by four on the landing pad causes Curly to lose consciousness, end up with a nasty gash on his forehead. So, so as you can see, not only is comedy uh, hard, but it's also uh, uh, downright dangerous. I'm just going to go and wash up my hands. And you just sit back, enjoy NYUK's next uh, Stooge Classic, and be thankful that you're watching from a safe distance. <laughs> All right. Uh, lights? Ah! Well, I hope that you uh, paid attention to that last Three Stooges short. There'll be a test on it later. Uh, we'll break for a short recess now, and we'll resume uh, with more Three Stooges on AMC's NYUK.